What's up guys, it's Gabe here and I'm back with the final part of my content creation series. Now, I know I said it was gonna be a four part series, but the last two ones, I, I didn't have much to talk about because it was pretty straightforward. So I decided to combine it and make it a grand finale. So here we are, yeah. Now that we know what to talk about and how to talk about those things, let's take a closer look into the final pieces. Of it all. So the main platforms, the main social platforms I can think of are podcasts, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, um, Medium, Twitter, and a personal blog or website. Yeah, I think I covered all of them. Yeah. Did I say LinkedIn? Well, if I didn't, LinkedIn is in this too. Yeah. So now, as I already said, you can make content for all these platforms or just pick a few that you feel comfortable with and start from there but ideally it would be good though if you could make for as many platforms as you can because that would allow you to potentially reach more people but then we come across to kind of a problem like how can we produce things in such a huge quantity right for different platforms and different styles and as i also said before you can go for audio you can go for video pictures or even the written word now to help you produce for all social platforms there is there's a very interesting technique that i got from gary v which is content repurposing and what is that you basically focus on producing one big piece of content like a longer form of content and then from that big piece of content you can chop it off and make it into small ones and share them on the other platforms so gary gives an example about podcasts and he says it's the triple treat whatever that means so how does it go well podcast is audio so when you are doing your audio interview or talk show you record yourself doing that and because you've recorded yourself you have a video and now you can post it on youtube and you also have the audio for podcasts and from that video you can highlight some key ideas or principles and and then you can cut it into a smaller video and you can post that to instagram facebook or TikTok or any other video platform and also you can even post it on YouTube or podcast for the audio again because not everybody likes to watch or listen to a very long video audio or whatever like 40 minutes or more video it's just some people don't like to stay that long watching something so they can appreciate and actually benefit from a smaller bite-sized one and from your bigger content you can make one or more articles and posting on linkedin medium your personal blog your personal website and from those articles you can highlight some other ideas or phrases or principles or key things and you can make several tweets out of those and there you go because you focused on only one big thing a huge chunk of content you actually got yourself several small pieces that you can repurpose and use in all the platforms you're at and that's why it's such a very interesting thing to do and like i never thought about it he has a blog post on it i'll try to link that in the description of this video so you guys can check it out and for the bigger content you're making people usually do on podcast interviews but you don't actually need to interview someone it's a very good idea because you have the collaboration and that brings awareness from the other part into yours like you both get some awareness from each other right because your followers are gonna know of him and his followers are gonna know of you now it's a win-win for both of you you don't actually need to go for interviews you can do a talk show or you can create anything else that is only you and talk about whatever you want to talk about or it can even be a recording of a, a talk you gave or a speech from a conference for an event you know it can be anything that you can chop off into small pieces and repurpose that into the other platforms and a very important thing to remember while using this technique is to contextualize your content people they behave differently in each platform they're using like we we, we start thinking differently when we are at instagram or linkedin for instance because linkedin is more focused on business and so people expect like a different kind of messaging or a different kind of content that is related to business or even jobs so you want to make the same posts you do on instagram for linkedin because 
there is this different thing, right? So knowing what is the context of each platform and trying to polish whatever you're doing, whatever you're making to kind of fit into the niche of these platforms is a very important thing to do. And also be aware that the platforms are not what actually matter. It's where people's attention and focus are. So like if Facebook dies and something else takes its place, you should go there and start making content there and experimenting and trying and see how things work there. That's why it's also important for you to be a very earlier adopter of emerging platforms like TikTok. People are saying that TikTok is for kids, but that's the same thing people say about Instagram. They're for kids, right? And that's another thing that Gary Vee talks about. That's why I highly recommend you guys checking me out. Don't get stuck in platforms. Just go wherever people are going and wherever people are watching, you go and make stuff there. Now, once you start doing that, you have to engage with the community. That's how you're gonna grow. If people comment on your things, you reply. You reply to messages, to comments. Uh, just be nice, you know? Just provide information, provide a lot of value, and care about people, care about your audience and your followers. This is not about what you can get from them. It's about what you can actually give to the people. Give value and more value and expect nothing in return. Like, if you're trying to do things just expecting people to give you something else, something in return. People are gonna notice. That's why you have to be very true and honest and genuine in what you're doing or else people are gonna smell your bad intentions. And with social media, we get exposed a lot if you're doing the wrong things. That's why you have to be true to yourself and true to what you're doing. There are a lot of fake people. Don't be just another one, okay? And the more you engage with the community and build a community of your own, the more you're gonna grow organically. And that's the only way to grow, guys. There's no shortcut to it. You gotta work, you gotta put out your own content, you gotta engage, you gotta care, you gotta reply to your own comments. Like, there's no shortcuts for this. And if someone claims to have a shortcut, then they're just full of shit. That's, that's the truth. So just make things, post them, and be patient. And if you can do all this, everything that I've tried to teach you in this series, in these videos, in my posts, if you can do these things, be patient and keep doing, keep pushing, and don't give up. Money will eventually follow you. And it's, it's gonna happen one way or the other. Like, if you get known as an expert or a very influential person around some topic, people are going to start asking you to maybe come give a speech or a talk at their event and they're going to pay for that. Uh, maybe they're going to be willing to buy your courses like online training, workshops, go to your events. You can sell your own work, sell your products, sell whatever you produce. You might get client work if you're a business or a freelancer. You might get brand deals if you're an influencer or a vlogger. You might get all of those no matter who you are because the, the opportunities are endless for me to list here. So just try it and, and be patient. Don't think that things are gonna happen overnight because they're not. Like, they can if you get lucky enough so one of your content goes viral, but most of the time people, they, they actually grind they do the work, they put in lots and lots of work because that's that's how they say it, right? An overnight success was actually built in 10 or whatever years, but people were not watching that. That's why they say it's an overnight success, but there's all that work that was put in behind the overnight thing before it could explode. And you're gonna face some adversity, you're gonna, you're gonna have problems. But we all have problems. We all can fail at doing something we don't like. So we might as well just try to do something we love. And it's gonna be okay because you're doing something that you're passionate about and you're having fun. You're actually working towards your dreams. And that is worth all the, all the obstacles or the walls you're facing or the, the difficult times you're facing. So be patient and don't give up. Believe in yourself and believe in your dream because I do. <laughs> and I hope you guys got something out of this series and I hope you actually learned something and I really, really, really hope that it inspired you. Go out and do your own thing. And I'm still learning too. Like, I'm, I'm getting started. I'm learning and 
if I learn something else, I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna help you, that's why I'm here. We are in this together, we are in this journey together. And if we fall, we do that together too. Wow, I'm such a good cat in America, oh my gosh. I hope you got something from this. Thank you for watching and check out my Instagram. I made a like a video breakdown post of it and I'll link my account in the description. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.